What's going on guys, it's your boy Worthy Prince coming at you with another Lord's mobile video and today we're back with the free to play limited challenge stage 6. Now if you're stuck on any of the other challenges from 1 to 5, they are up on the channel so go and check them out. But today we're looking at Trickstar who's our boss on stage 6. Now we've got Trickstar and it looks like we're going up against the Terrathorn as well which well, we'll see how that goes. The good thing about this one though guys is, yeah, apart from not losing any heroes, you don't need to pick any, which is cool because this means it can be done. <laughs> so I haven't got to worry too much about picking anything. We've got some pretty good ones there too. We've got the cannon train coming back for stage 6. We've got Mole, Mole Man, that's going to be our healer, Bobbing Goblin and Witch Doll. So two really good heroes that offer stuns and massive attacks, plus... Mr. Steambot himself up front as our tank. So we don't need to pick anything here. Let's go straight in and see what's on offer. Okay, now I got thrown a bit on this first bit because the camera's all kind of like ran the wrong way. <laughs> I don't know whether that was intentional, but I switched it around so I can see what I'm doing. And this first level doesn't really take too much to do. Literally a couple of stuns, you know, a hit from Bombing Goblin and these guys go down. As you can see, we've got the tree dudes. And we've also got Watcher as well, who's actually got a fair bit of life, but after a few hits, he doesn't really stand around too long. So let's continue doing this now. Chuck us Witch Doll stunning. See, look, he's gone down pretty quick. In fact, he's dead. So nice and easy there. Let's move on to stage two. So when you go into stage two, the camera's run the right way. So I don't know what that's about. Hey, look, we've got a Grove Guardian. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our first ultimate on those at the front. And then this cannon train, we're going to fire over the back. Steambot straight through the middle. Looking pretty good so far. Um, I was expecting more from Grove Guardian, to be honest. He's quite powerful, especially in Colosseum. So let's see how we go. The front's looking pretty good. Those little turtle shells are going to start healing, but we're doing pretty good damage. Again, once my ultimates are ready, I'm going to focus on the back line because they're going to be causing a bit of damage. I want to get rid of those as quickly as I can. Again, using Steambot to hit the front and the back there. Very nice. And we've done the front line going forward to the back. Here we go. Nice stun from Witch Doll. Takes out those two Harpies, which are a pain. And we can just focus our last few attacks on Grove Guardian. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good so far, isn't it, guys? Could this be a first time win? We will see. And here's Trickstar. Okay, and he's got a couple of those Terrathorns either side of him. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. You know, the only time I've ever seen Terrathorn is in the Labyrinth. Never really, or when you fight him as a monster on the map. So it's pretty cool to have him in the challenge stages. But so really, there's no kind of like game plan here to do this part. It's just a case of stunning and ultimate in, trying to make sure you save your Mole Man uh, heals for when you really do need them. That was a bit early probably. I might suffer for that. I don't know. Let's keep going. They're almost dead. Come on. A nice stun from Witch Doll. Should be enough to finish this off. Looking good, guys. Looking good. All right. I guess we can, you know, make a cup of coffee, sit down and relax. The challenge stages are done. Or are they? No. <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived in the form of four more trick stars. Okay. Let's just get on this and stun these guys. Let's get that cannon train going. Come on. All right, here we go. Come on. And again, come on. They're almost dead. The front one's almost gone. I got my heal here. I'm not going to use it just yet. I'm going to use it in a minute, though. Use it now. Use it now. Quick, quick, quick. But for some reason, the cannon train didn't get no heals from that whatsoever. What's up with that? And I lost my cannon train right at the end with two trick stars to go. I wasn't impressed, guys. I'm just saying. I wanted to get this done first time, but... It seems like it's going to take another go. <laughs> Did you guys manage to get this done first time? Are you better at these challenge stages than me? I'm guessing you are. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Let's run through this one more time and finish this stage off. Again, as far as strategy goes, I can't really see any kind of top end strategy to give. You know, not like the other challenge stages anyway, where you kind of had to pick heroes depending on you know what, what they could do, like the damage they give, especially stage five with that damage you needed for those tempests at the end. Um, this one, you know, because the heroes are all there, there's not really a strategy as such. It's just a case of stunning them, hitting them, stunning them, and hitting them. <laughs> it was just a pain that I didn't get it done first time. So let's just continue 
and try and see if we can get past those reinforcements at the end without any issues this time. So again, trying to focus on both the front line here and the back line as much as I can. Bombing Goblin's great for that because his area damage is really, really good. It's really powerful. I'm a really big fan of his ultimate. Not a big fan of that ultimate from Grove Guardian though that almost took out two of my heroes. Ooh. But it looks like we've got the situation under control and Grove Guardian is down. Okay, awesome. So let's see if we can finally go ahead now and beat these trick stars. Because I would definitely love to level this guy up and try him out in the Colosseum for you guys and show him, show you exactly what he's like. Um, but let's see if we can beat these guys first. So, again, chucking in the ultimates, taking down as much life as I possibly can. Holding off on that Mole Shaman. You know what? He actually heals without using the ultimate. And then the ultimate is like an extra heal, which is pretty good. Wow, I don't know what that attack was there, but it looked pretty intense. Let's keep going. Another stun. I like the fact that Witch Doll stuns all three of them. Because, again, against the Totem Pests, I don't think her stun really done much. Or any kind of stun done much to the middle one, the big one in the middle. So it looks like this is pretty good. Looks like we're doing better this time, guys. We've got a lot of life. Holding off on using the ultimates, getting ready for these reinforcements. Okay, here we go. So we're going to chuck in that cannon train, which is really powerful. Although it doesn't look like it's doing too much damage against these big trick stars. Again, chucking Bombing Goblin in now, making sure I get all four of them. There we go. Really good stuff. That actually drops their life really good. I like that. Now, Heal from Mole Shaman actually healed the cannon train that time. So I think with that being said, we should be good now the cannon train's been healed. Bowling Goblin's looking a bit dodgy. Come on now, we need a heal from Mole Shaman. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. So, Bowling Goblin's all good. Right, there we go. The life's almost down. Come on, stop throwing star popcorn at me. There we go, we're done. <laughs> so, the cannon train spins, the robot spins, Steambot spins. It's all good. Witch Doll's spinning. Everybody's spinning, apart from the mole that looks like he's doing the Irish step dance there. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, we got our medals for Steambot, which means we now have the 10 medals required to go ahead and unlock him. So, what we're going to do is go and do that now, get him unlocked. And we'll have a look. I'll level him up and we'll have a look in the Colosseum and see what he offers. Because, um, I mean, you know, it's, it's nice to have him, I guess, at grey level, but he doesn't really offer too much at grey level. But again, it's a free hero. Why not go and get it? It's fun. You know, going through the process of unlocking it is quite fun. Doing the challenge stages and everything. And again, if you're stuck on any of these challenge stages, don't forget, I have all of them now up on the channel. So there we go, this is Steambot. Now we need to level him up. I'm going to speed it up, guys, don't worry. I'm not going to make you watch me do my clicks. As you can see, he comes with Cavalry Max HP, Cavalry Defense, and Cavalry Attack. At Grey level, you wouldn't use him to attack. Um, so really, on an attack front or a defense front, he's not going to help you at this level. Um, but, you know, he's got some skills. Let's go ahead and level him up and see what he can offer us in the Colosseum at Grey level. So there we go guys, he's now rank 8, he's maxed out as far as these trophies are concerned. We're ready to go and take a look and see what he can offer. So you can see I've got all the skills open at the lowest level. Uh, we can take a look at his actual battle attributes. You can see he's got 25,000 HP which is pretty good, he is a tank. Um, you know his attack's not bad I guess. He just doesn't seem to perform in the Colosseum, I mean we'll, we'll, we'll have a go guys, I'll show you what he's like. So let's go ahead and use a few gems here to get some retries, there we go. Let's find ourselves a target. Hey look, Guard 2000. You know what, I think Steambot might just be able to win this battle for us. <laughs> let's go ahead and do this, so what we're going to do, let's pick a team. Don't worry, I'll, I'll do a harder team in a second. So Steambot, we'll do Rose Knight, who else have we got here, so Demon Slayer could be a good choice. Let's go down and have a look. Let's go for Law Weaver. And let's go for Petite Devil. That's a pretty solid team there. Um, let's fire this off and see what happens. Of course, we're going to win this one because they're level 15s. I don't even think we'll have time to see him do his ultimate. Let's have a look. So, going up against the big guy. All right. <laughs> As like a one-hit kill. Like, bye-bye. Okay, cool. You know, it's always nice when you're trying to level up in Colosseum and someone's migrated out and left a guard 2000, like in the top 100 ranks. It's like, yes, I can move up easy. Okay, this team looks a bit more difficult. So we've got, yeah, we've got level 60s, gold, rank 8 heroes. Bit of a Demon Slayer bait going on right there with Snow Queen and Black Crow. So Demon Slayer could be in trouble. Let's see if Steambot can do anything here. Now you notice the fact straight away, 
He loses a lot of life really quickly, but luckily enough, he's got a decent healer in Law Weaver that's going to keep him alive as much as possible. Demon Slayer looks like he's having problems at the back. In fact, he's dead. That was always going to happen. We've got the bait team going on. Okay, let's see if Steambot can go ahead and use his ultimate before he dies. And here it comes. No, yep, yep, here it comes. We're going to launch it now. He's going to fire. Yeah. Didn't really do too much damage, but there you go, guys. That's what he does. Um, again, coming in with the heals. You know what? The team's holding up pretty well. I just, I don't know. It looks like my Rose Knight's about to drop. If that happens, we're in big trouble. Another freeze. That could be the end. Oh, no. Rose Knight, no. Okay, yeah, he's gone. And Steambot's gone too, by the looks of it. There he goes. <laughs> so, all in all, not too bad, guys. I hope you unlock the oars today and you're happy with that too. Try them out with some different teams in Colosseum and see how you get on. You never know. You might find a really good Steambot team. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video for today. Um, if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. And until next time, guys, stay safe, everybody, and peace out.